Riding the green wave to work, digitizing space, and ebooks that smell like the real thing. But on your helmet, this could get rough. Hey there, what's going on? I'm Rich Tamiro with CNET TV, and you are in the queue. Thank God I could finally unlock my iPhone. Tools? All this just to go to T-Mobile? Never mind, let's get you started with your must-click moment. A one-stop shop of NASA imagery, available soon. The space agency will work with the Internet Archive of San Francisco to digitize their collection of pictures, film, and video. Everything will be available online for free. The full project will take five years. Good luck finding the moon landing film. Moving through the queue, here's a nifty way to commute to work. How about taking an electric motorcycle? Inertia, the world's first zero emissions battery powered bike, delivering 45 miles of freedom on the open road on a three hour charge. The carbon fiber chassis, ultra strong, but super light, weighing in at a tree loving 275 pounds. You too can help save the world and look awesome doing it for just 12 grand. The Inertia bike goes on sale next summer. I'm still not convinced printing pictures at home is any easier than going to the drugstore. But that doesn't mean lots of Americans haven't started the equivalent of a digital darkroom. And that brings us to your quick quiz. What tops the wish list for home printer owners? Is it the ability to connect wirelessly, longer lasting digital photos, higher quality digital photos, or cheaper ink cartridges? Take a second to think about it. The answer? Cheaper ink cartridges. This according to a survey by Ipsos Insight, an overwhelming amount of consumers want to print cheaper. Today there are lots of options like refilling or no-name brand ink, but the big names criticize these alternatives, saying you'll sacrifice some quality. Time for the beta, and today a site I used to use religiously is getting a refresher. Bloglines was one of the first web-based RSS readers, a great alternative to desktop downloads that tied your feeds to one screen. The beta adds a new personalized start page that lets you quickly scan your favorite feeds in seconds, a three pane view that lets you treat feeds like your email inbox, and drag and drop feed management for a little taste of web 2.0 in your feed reading. Upcoming features include a mobile version and the ability to send, save, and share posts. Finally, in a survey sure to get a company in a show like this, Cafe Scribe is introducing musty ebooks. The digital textbook company recently surveying college students and found they love the smell of their physical books. That new or old book smell apparently the only thing keeping them from buying lower priced digital versions of their textbooks. So in an attempt to win over smell conscious students, the company including a musty old book scratch and sniff sticker with every ebook sold in September. That explains why college students spend so much time in the stacks. I'm Rich Demiro with CNET TV in New York City. Go do great things.